Hello there. In this tutorial, I'm just going to walk you through how to set up MailPoet for WordPress. Uh, some of the recent releases, there's been quite a few changes, which actually are for the better. Um, just a lot cleaner and more streamlined. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll just start here with this site. Um, we've got the subscribe form that I've got down on the bottom here. Um, now we want to set it up so that we can utilize this information once once somebody subscribes. We can set up all kinds of different actions as well as uh, sending out newsletters. So in order to get it set up, um, just underneath MailPoet, you've got emails. <clears throat> and if you click add new, it's here are the different options. So newsletter is one. You can create a newsletter, you can send out to a list. A welcome email, so this is more on the automated side. Uh, so as soon as somebody subscribes, um, they'll get a email and you can have that be set up instantaneous that they receive it or you can specify when when you would want it to go out if there's kind of a delay. Um, and then latest post not notifications, this is awesome. If you've got a blog that's pretty lively and active, uh, you could set this up where when you post, it'll automatically send out to all your subscribers. Uh, and again, you can sort of specify the delay on that. You can have it be instant, or you can actually put a, you know, a, specify a time on when you would want it to go out after you actually post. Uh, WooCommerce, um, if there's new products that you're posting, um, your subscribers will be notified. Uh, so it's, it's all pretty cool. So to get started setting this all up, um, first thing we need is subscribers. So you may have a, an email list um, already. Um, so there's import options. If you've got a spreadsheet, um, you can import a CSV file. Um, and you could also organize by lists. So you might have different groups. So there's, by default, they'll, they'll be WordPress users. So if you've got multiple people editing, uh, making edits on the, the site, um, all their emails would be lumped into a group. So maybe you want to send something out just to your staff. Um, you know, they'll be isolated in, in, in their own group. Uh, and it's, it's endless how you want to set that up. But it is nice to have that flexibility to differentiate um, and sort of pinpoint target your different, different lists, different categories. Um, so subscribers right now, I've just got just a couple in here. Um, <clears throat> so add new, you can do one at a time, um, or again, you can import a bulk option. Now let's go to emails. I've already set up a welcome email, uh, kind of a thank you for subscribing. So if you want to set up your own or a different one. Uh, just go to add new and then welcome email. You can set that up. Um, so when someone subscribes to a list or when a new WordPress user is added. So if, you're, if you've got an e-commerce site and you've got somebody setting up an account, um, you can have a separate uh, notification email that would go to them uh, that would be different than just maybe somebody subscribing to a, new, uh, to a newsletter or something like that. Um, and then you can specify which list. Uh, will basically, you know, which list this response will go to, which list, so. Um, and then here's the option where you can specify the delay. Uh, you can have it go out immediately after somebody subscribes, um, hours later, days later, weeks later. So you've got a lot of flexibility. And just following through, it's very simple. Um, here we've got lots of different options for templates um, to choose from. You know, of course, you can you can edit your own. So I just select like a basic one here. Um, you know, clicking on the logo, just select another image and pull in your logo, and then just editing all this text. Um, it's very simple. So just hover over it. You've got editing options. You can delete different sections. Uh, you can copy. Uh, you can drag and drop. Uh, and then you've got other components on the right here if you want to add images and stuff like that. Uh, once you are done with that, then you would hit next. And then you've got a subject line, which is important. So you want to make sure that it's uh, relevant to whatever the action was by the subscriber. 
um, or new user if you've got the commerce site. Um, and then you've got an option here, send this welcome email when somebody subscribes. Uh, again, registration of a new user, uh, and then, you know, which list. Um, sender, so you would put in your name as well as email address, and then a reply to. So if somebody wants to reply to you, you can put in a no reply here, uh, or just put in a general email. Um, so once that is done, then you just hit activate. And then it's set up and it's 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 live. So it's, if we get a subscriber right now, they're going to get exactly what we just put together um, based on the criteria that we set up. So I am actually going to get rid of that. If need it. Um, <clears throat> post notifications. This one's great. Um, so basically, again, adding a new one. Latest post notification. We'll set that up. Select a frequency. So uh, once a day, I mean, you might be posting once a day, once a week. Um, you know, I'm sure this will probably determine how often you'd want to send it out. You don't want to be flooding people's email inboxes with updates on when you posted something. Um, so maybe it's weekly, maybe it's monthly. You could set all that up right here, uh, even to, to the exact minute or at least hour, I should say. Um, once you've sort of selected the frequency, just hit next. And again, you've got different template options. I'll just go with the boring simple one here. Um, you know, we're going to want to brand it, so we'll get the logo in there again. And then it's already populated some of the recent posts from this website. So it's already wired in there. Um, and then it's got some other content you're going to want to edit in the upper part here. So once you're done with that, save it, select next. Again, subject line, so latest news from whatever website. Um, another option to edit the frequency, uh, select a list who you would want this to go out to, um, which is great. So uh, if you've got people who are registered from the e-commerce side of things, sending out new products to them, you know, you can, you can differentiate with who you would want the posts to be automatically sent out to. Uh, again, sender information and then a re reply to information if you if you want that. And then activate. And then that's created. So again, I'm going to move this to the trash. Uh, now, finally, uh, something that, you know, will probably, you know, is more of the uh, sort of the foundation of MailPoet is just the, the newsletter aspect of it. So again, under emails, the first tab, newsletter. Um, you'll have a list there if you've got multiple newsletters that you've done in the past. Uh, if you want a new one, just create newsletter. And again, we're gonna have a variety of options here that they're gonna give us. And again, I'm gonna go with the simple boring one just for demonstration purposes here. And here you can just customize your content. I mean, the first time, maybe you want to spend a bit more time on your newsletter template just to get it right. And then moving forward, you can just copy that template and reuse it, uh, and save yourself some time. And, but, you know, it might be nice to kind of spend a bit of time initially. These short codes in here, they'll basically automatically drop in the first name of the subscriber. Uh, so it'll personalize it a little bit. Um, and then you, You've basically got all these content options that you can you can drag into the newsletter itself. So you know you've got divider, and then you can select the divider and go in and choose different customization tools they have for divider. Um, you want to bring an image in, you know it'll automatically open up your media library. Select an image, drop that in there. Done. Uh, option for buttons. So if you want to link to your a specific web page, um, you've got full freedom to make edits, uh, even layout. So if you want a two column layout, then you've got options to add in from your content. Maybe we do an image on the right here. 
I can't call. So you've you know lots of flexibility. It's pretty intuitive, pretty user friendly. Um, you know preview option. You can send a preview to yourself or view how it's going to look in a browser. Let's just do that real quick. There we go. That's how it's going to look. Uh, good idea to send it just just to be safe. Yeah, different stylings. Um, global styling options for the font, font color, font size, uh, content background, global background. I mean, you might find a template that is kind of close to what you like, and then you can actually go in and do a bit of fine tuning and tweak it more towards what you would like. So once you're done, you're happy, then just click save, next. And again, subject line is huge. This is all people see when they first get their email. So you want to make sure that uh, it's a little bit eye catching. Um, select your group that you want the newsletter to go out to. Again, the sender and reply to information. You've got an option to schedule this. So you might have a series of newsletters that you want to send out. You just want to get it done. You've got a free hour in your day. Um, so basically you can just set up a series of newsletters to go out over a month or whatever you'd like to do. And then you know that you're gonna be continuously giving your subscribers content and you don't have to worry about it. So it's a really good tool to do the schedule tool. You do have the option to send it right away or you could just save it as a draft, come back to it later if you wanna make some more tweets. So that's it, it's pretty simple. Um, other options in the settings here. Um, that you can look through. I'm not going to go through that in this video, um, but it's very intuitive. Um, there is a premium version that offers uh, offers more, um, which I'll leave it up to you to look into as well. But all in all, that's basically how you would get it going. One last thing, actually, I forgot to mention was the form options. Um, so, which is basically the subscribe form on the bottom footer here. You have options on text fields. So we can add a new one. You're gonna to wanna to give it a name. So I'll just leave that new form. Uh, underneath the field toggle here, you've got first name, last name, list selections. You could put in a list if you wanted to. Uh, custom text or HTML, another option. Uh, settings. So this is important. You wanna designate or specify where the subscriber that is filling out this form, what list they're gonna be basically sorted into. So we'll just add that. And then there's even a little little message that'll pop up when they subscribe, you can customize. You know, this one is just a reminder, the default here is just a reminder that if you don't see it in your inbox, check your spam folder. Um, so you can either show a message or you can actually throw in a URL or select a page that you have on your website. Um, like a follow-up page you can do as well. Uh, form placement, Just I just grabbed short code. So you've got an option here to grab short code and I just dropped that into one of my footer widgets. Um, you can actually grab PHP, iframe as well. Iframes aren't ideal, um, but nonetheless, they've got that option as well. Uh, and then styling, you can, you know, it gives you a little bit of flexibility. Uh, if you're comfortable with CSS, you can do a little bit of styling too. So overall, MailPoet, it's, it's a great tool to reach out to your, your visitors who have subscribed. Um, again, the WooCommerce aspect of it is in beta right now. Um, and that's just for follow-up sales with existing customers that you have. It's an awesome tool, very easy to use. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's the overview of how to use MailPoint. Thanks for watching.